the world's second largest company behind Apple, has been leading the charge in software for years. They continue to dominate on consumer products with the Windows operating system and Microsoft Office, and their Xbox platform has been a force to be reckoned with in the gaming space. On the enterprise side, Microsoft is a leader in supplying software to businesses, including Microsoft 365, Teams, and they own massive properties such as Skype, LinkedIn, and GitHub. But Microsoft has extremely deep pockets, and if they fail at something, they have the cash to try again over and over until they get it right. Now, this hasn't exactly been the case in the highly competitive mobile phone market, where under Steve Ballmer, Microsoft completely missed the market opportunity with their Zune, and the Windows Phone never took off. There's no phones in the market better today than Windows Phones. I say that with all the objectivity of a CEO of Microsoft. However, they do receive some royalties for Android devices. Nevertheless, this isn't the position where Microsoft wanted to be in the mobile phone industry. Now, with the rise of electric vehicles and these vehicles becoming computing platforms, Microsoft is behind once again, but doesn't want to make the same mistake twice. While Tesla is leading the charge with their vertically integrated homegrown platform, that includes in-car applications, gaming, and a platform for full self-driving, other companies are quickly realizing this large opportunity and partnering in the race to capitalize on this next wave in computing. So will Microsoft be able to pull ahead in the electric vehicle space and dominate in yet another massive industry? Competitors Apple and Google and other players already have certain bits of software such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that they've integrated into third-party vehicles. These are exceedingly consumer-facing products, but Microsoft so far has taken a slightly different approach and is building out its Microsoft Connected Vehicle Platform, or MCVP, to capitalize on this trend. Their MCVP platform is built more for vehicle manufacturer OEMs and powers their applications to create connected cars. For example, telematics data, location, speed, and vehicle status data can be sent to the cloud through Microsoft's back-end services. Microsoft is leveraging their Azure platform, which already takes into account security and scalability. Automaker developers can use over 40 Azure services to build their own differentiated applications for their cars, and Microsoft's massive scale allows for gigabytes of data to be sent to their servers every second. In addition to these vehicle-to-cloud capabilities, Microsoft also enables cloud-to-vehicle functionality, such as delivering commands to the car. For instance, unlocking the door from a remote app or honking the car horn remotely. These are features that competitors such as Tesla already have built for themselves exclusively, but the traditional OEMs mainly lack the software expertise to build this entire ecosystem on their own, and so Microsoft is leveraging its software capabilities to provide these backbone services for OEMs. Microsoft is allowing OEMs to build their own infotainment systems, productivity applications, and driver assistance services right into their vehicles, but backed using Microsoft's cloud expertise. Despite Microsoft's efforts to be the go-to supplier for connected car software services, Microsoft still lacks in one of the largest upcoming industry trends, which will be the revolution in self-driving cars. Competitors such as Tesla have been developing their own autopilot system. Google subsidiary Waymo is working on using its machine learning expertise to build automated cars. Amazon recently purchased connected car company Zoox and owns a big chunk of Rivian, which will help bolster its delivery logistics. And Apple has been quietly working on its project Titan to develop its own autonomous vehicle. Microsoft is the only player out of some of the major U.S. tech companies to be missing out on this massive software opportunity, until now. In January of 2021, Microsoft decided to make a $2 billion investment in Cruise, which is a subsidiary of General Motors that works on autonomous vehicles. The non-exclusive deal will solidify Cruise's back-end cloud platform to be Azure, and at the same time, Microsoft will leverage its Cruise relationship to further expand into the transportation industry. CEO Satya Nadella said this about the investment, as Cruise and GM's preferred cloud, we will apply the power of Azure to help them scale and make autonomous transportation mainstream. The large software companies have vast expertise in machine learning, 
However, machine learning requires massive amounts of data in order to learn from millions of scenarios. For self-driving, this would require a fleet of vehicles equipped with the proper sensors, something that the tech giants are missing given that they do not produce cars. At the same time, even General Motors lacks data given that very few vehicles on the road today actually contain the sensors needed to collect and send video or other driving data back to their servers. GM is at least beginning to roll out such vehicles from its manufacturing lines. Their cruise division has also shown progress when it comes to self-driving, releasing demo videos of vehicles driving around certain Californian cities. However, at this time, the vehicles still require remote assistance. It's still unclear if Microsoft will gain access to Cruise's data to apply its own neural net algorithms in order to help Cruise more quickly achieve its self-driving ambitions. However, this large investment may be the next major step that Microsoft is taking to delve further into the vehicle sector. There's an old joke in the industry from decades ago where Bill Gates hypothetically reaches out to GM and tells them that if GM had kept up with technology, we would all be driving $25 cars that got 1,000 miles to the gallon, in which GM supposedly replies, saying that yes, that's true, but the car would crash twice a day, you would have to press the start button to turn off your car, and if your car died, you would need to close all of the windows, shut off your car, restart it, and open all the windows again, of course making fun of Microsoft's operating system. Ironically, years later, we have Microsoft investing in GM in order to push technology and vehicles further down this path. If we compare the car industry to the phone industry, the biggest winners have been those companies that are vertically integrated, that have control over all aspects of their hardware and software. Apple is the prime example of this with the iPhone as they design their own software and hardware. Samsung also develops its own hardware and leverages Google's Android OS in order to build its own custom features on top. We've even seen Google bring some hardware in-house so that they can have their own device, the Pixel series, to write software for since they are a leader in software. When Apple launched the iPhone in 2007, Steve Jobs famously quoted Alan Kay, who said that people who are really serious about software should make their own hardware. While Microsoft is primarily a software company, they have over the years moved towards creating their own hardware product lines such as the Xbox and also the Microsoft Surface computers which have proven to be successful for the company. The real question is, is this deal with General Motors pushing Microsoft one step closer to ultimately building its own vehicle? If Microsoft becomes a software powerhouse for supporting the auto industry, in order to effectively compete with vertically integrated competitors such as Tesla and potentially Amazon, Apple, and Google in the future, Microsoft will need to be able to move quickly to release its latest software in order to compete with these other fast-moving players. The best way to do this is to control the entire product experience and become vertically integrated, which would mean building their own car eventually. While Microsoft has not made any direct moves yet to suggest that they will shift into vehicle manufacturing, it's entirely possible that Microsoft is secretly planning to make this push one day and is currently setting themselves up to do so. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to watch our other videos on what Tesla could do if they moved into the home building industry and also our video on Tesla's Plaid powertrain where we describe the benefits of torque vectoring. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.